today we are discussing about deviation because of a single mirror and deviation because of two mirrors let us continue here just now i told you this is a normal drawn and this is a mirror a light ray falls gets reflected back and now actually the light ray has to continue like this but as the mirror is present it is reflected back in the same medium i told you already this is going to be i and this is also i because we can write i can be equal to r so both angles are considered to be same i can write it as i now what is the deviation actually this part is called as deviation so this is an actual path of the light ray but after the reflection it has gone to the same direction same medium of the reflection so this is going to be the deviation then how are you going to find out the deviation you all know that this is the total angle which is considered to be 180 degrees so now i can write deviation delta the total angle is 180 degrees minus i plus i because this is i and this is i so we want deviation we take the total angle and subtract these two angles from that so we can write 180 minus 2i as deviation so this is going to be the deviation because of a single mirror we can say now let us consider deviation because of two mirrors this is because of one mirror this is because of two mirrors then we shall discuss about what is a deviation because of two mirrors for that we need to consider two mirrors like this i am drawing two mirrors see just the light ray has entered like this it has taken reflection it has taken one more reflection and the light ray is moving like this so i can write i can take naming like this pq and it is rs and these two mirrors are making certain angle theta here okay as i said previously i already told you that if this is going to be the normal and this is a light ray which is falling and this is going to be reflecting back i told you if this is angle of incidence angle of reflection this is called as glancing angle this is also called as glancing angle and both these angles are going to be same i have already discussed in the first class about this both the glancing angles will be same so now here the first light ray pq falls in the first mirror and reflects it falls in the second mirror once again it reflects and comes out okay so what is the deviation actually the deviation is nothing but this is a light ray which is going to enter so from here and the light ray which is coming out this total angle is considered to be deviation now let us consider this is an external angle e now let me give some angle namings here you can consider this as alpha this as alpha and this is alpha dash you can write this as beta this is also going to be beta and this is beta dash here so one thing you should it is clear that alpha plus alpha plus alpha dash is going to be 180 degrees here okay so from this we can write alpha dash can be written as 180 minus 2 alpha and similarly beta plus beta dash plus beta here in this case is considered to be 180 degrees this is because this is a is a plane mirror which is making total angle 180 degrees here also this is 180 degrees so alpha plus you can write like this alpha plus alpha dash plus alpha is equal to 180 so alpha dash can be written as 180 minus 2 alpha here beta plus beta dash plus beta is 180 then we can write beta dash can be written as 180 minus 2 beta because beta plus beta is 2 beta so we got this two angles beta and beta dash so here one more identity we have to remember here that is external angle is equal to sum of exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles then in this diagram 
if you observe this as an exterior angle E, the sum of interior opposite angles can be considered as alpha dash plus beta dash. Okay, so E is equal to alpha dash plus beta dash. So I can write like this, E is equal to instead of alpha dash, I have written one formula here. I can write like this, 180 minus 2 alpha plus beta dash can be written as 180 minus 2 beta. So E can be, 180, e can be taken as 180 plus 180 is 360 degrees minus 2 if you common out it is going to be alpha plus beta. So here if you observe in this triangle you can write like this alpha plus beta plus theta is equal to 180 degrees because this is considered as an angle sum property. Alpha plus theta plus beta is equal to 180 degrees it is called as angle sum property that is sum of the angles in a triangle is going to be 180 degrees. So what I am going to write here is alpha plus beta can be taken as 180 minus theta. Alpha plus beta can be taken as 180 minus theta. So E can be written as 360 minus 2 into instead of alpha and beta I can write 180 minus theta over here. So E can be taken as 360 minus 360 plus 2 theta after expansion this is going to be cancelled here. So I got E is equal to 2 theta. So now our aim is to find out what is a deviation. If you observe here, deviation can be considered as delta which can be written as the total angle in this case is considered to be 360 degrees. So if you want to find out delta here you can write 360 minus exterior angle. So delta is going to be total 360 degrees minus exterior angle. Therefore delta can be written as 360 minus E and here E is considered to be 2 theta. And this can also be written like this delta is equal to 2 pi minus 2 theta and delta can be written as 2 into pi minus theta. So this is the formula for deviation because of two mirrors and this is the formula for deviation for a single mirror. I think hope you understand. We go for the next video.